H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Now, are we de are we developing the uh, Android and iOS? Yes, we are developing for both Android and iOS platforms. Then, as a tester, how I will know that whatever the application I got from the developer. Is it the uh, Android application or is it iOS application? You can identify your application based on the extensions. See, if you are getting any hybrid or mobile, hybrid or native applications, then each application will be having the extensions like this. That means, see, once the developer is done with the development, what developer will do? developer will send that application to the QA team for the testing purpose. When they are sending this application, that application may be having these kind of extensions. Okay. Here we will be talking about that. What is this extension? What is the full form of that extension? Also? Here you are having different platforms for your mobile. So you are having so many platforms, Android, iOS, Windows, Symbian, Boda, so many platforms, Blackberry, so many platforms are there in the industry. However, here our entire focus will be on Android and iOS only. As a tester, you may be getting more opportunity with your Android and iOS. So what we will do is we will be focusing more with your Android and iOS. Okay. Fine. Now first try to understand one one example for each and every platform. What is the example for your Android? Like Samsung Galaxy. All Samsung phones, they are using Android platform only. That is a simple example. That means if somebody is asking you, can you please test this application in uh, Android? That means you have to you you have to take one of the Android mobiles for your testing. Like it can be um, Samsung, it can be Motorola, it can be HTC. You are having so many vendors which are using the Android. Because the main advantage of your Android is it's free. It's open source. Anyone can use it. That is the advantage. And then iOS. iOS is only for your Apple products. iPhone operating system. Like your uh, iPhone, iPad, only it is only for your Apple products, not for anyone, because iOS specific to Apple products only. And iOS example means iPhone, iPad, like that. And Windows also one of the platform, but as a tester, uh, you may be getting that less opportunity with that Windows. So here, uh, my entire course will be designed only for Android and the iOS. However, right, if you get a chance to work with your Windows, if you know Android and iOS platforms, working with that Windows platform is not a, well, I'm a big, big uh, difficulty. It's a simple only. Fine. Now, Bada is also one more uh, platform. When I say that Bada, Bada is nothing but like, uh, what is that one mobile, Samsung Wave. One mobile is there, Samsung Wave, which will use your uh, Bada software. This is just for your reference, but Android and iOS is important. You should know. One mobile called Samsung Wave, which will use Bada software. And Symbian. Symbian means you guys know that all the Nokia mobiles will use Symbian software. Only. If you take any Nokia mobile, all the Nokia mobiles will use Symbian software only. And then if you want like uh, Blackberry, Blackberry means right, you know that Blackberry, Jet 10, you are having so many mobiles for your Blackberry also. So here, here the point is, you are having different platforms for your mobile, like Android, iOS, Windows, Boda, and Symbian. And also I gave you that example for each and every platform. Because if anyone is asking you, please test that application in Android. 
means you should be in a position to understand that what are all the different mobiles are available for your android then start testing right now <clears throat> once i understand this is a different of platforms the next thing is the extensions of each and every platform what do you mean by that so once that uh, developer is done with that uh, development then developer will give that application for you to test it if they are giving that application means that application may be having that extension not maybe application will have that uh, extension android application means dot apk and I, ios application will be having that extension is dot apk that means once your android developer is done with that development he will be sending that application to you and the application will be having that extension is dot apk <coughs> and dot apk is nothing but uh, Android package kit. So when, whenever if you get any .apk file from your development team, that means you can understand that it's an Android file. So I can install in uh, Android phones. If you try to install this APK file in your uh, other platforms, it will not allow. It will not allow. So you can install this .apk file in your Android mobiles. How to install that application? How to test it? that we need to discuss and we need to learn that we will learn that how to dis how to install that application how to test that application that and all we will learn just just uh, for the time being just understand that your android uh, applications will be having that extension is dot apk and ios application is having that extension dot ipa and remaining i'm not discussing much about that like Wada, symbian windows so many platforms are there blackberry so many are there but here my focus is on Android and iOS. So here I said that Android extension is .apk. The full form of this extension is Android Package Kit. Android Package Kit. Similarly, if it is iOS, iOS is nothing but iPhone operating system .ipa, which is nothing but dot ipa iphone archive iphone archive this is the full form okay fine then these are all the different testings these are all the different testings that we will be doing on mobile application just now i showed you just now i showed you that right the uh, diagram what are all the different testings we will do? The same thing I highlighted one more time. These are all the different testing types you will be doing on that mobile application. Installation testing, user interface testing, functional testing, interruption testing, network testing, and performance testing. See, when I say that performance testing, in mobile applications what will happen is, performance testing will be done on the web services. If all your web services are up and running with that required number of users, then we will say that uh, mobile app is uh, good with your performance. So here we will say that performance is nothing but we will be doing the performance for your web services. And then acceptance testing is nothing but like what we will do is we will uh, see that whether all the requirements are implemented correctly or not. And we will do one round of acceptance testing to check all your uh, requirements. It's a kind of user acceptance testing. Okay. Fine. These are all your different testing types. Now we are done. Then. Okay. We are done with that uh, first part. Like we understand that requirements. And then we understand that what kind of testing we will do. The very first task in my mobile application is test strategy preparation. That means you got the requirement. After getting that requirement, what you will do? You will understand that requirement. Then you will prepare that strategy. Strategy or test plan, whatever you call. So this strategy or test plan is really important for your mobile application. It is very important because the reason why I'm saying that it is important, if, if somebody is asking you to test that mobile application, I cannot simply go to that application test it because I'm having thousands of devices in the market. 
how I can test it? I cannot test with each and every device in the market. That is not possible for me. That is the reason test plan is mandatory. Test strategy is mandatory for any mobile application testing. In fact, test strategy is, uh, is mandatory for any application. Now first you have to create a test plan saying that what is your strategy, how you are going to test the application, what is the approach towards testing your application. Now let's talk about that uh, test strategy or test plan. I hope you guys are comfortable with your regular test plan. See here I clearly mentioned that while preparing that test strategy or test plan for your mobile application, consider these points. Consider these points apart from your regular test plan. You know how to prepare your regular test plan, right? So for that regular test plan, you need to include all these points. Okay. So, so what I'm saying here is, right? When you are uh, writing the strategy for your mobile application, apart from your regular test plan, add all these below points. Now let's talk about that each and every one here. Now, okay, fine. No problem. Quickly, I will tell you what is your regular test plan. See, when I say that regular test plan, in your regular test plan, you will be clearly mentioning that. So this is your strategy. When you say that uh, regular test plan, you will be talking about that, who is going to test that application, what you are going to test that application, when you are going to test that application, how you are going to test that application. This is your uh, uh, regular test plan. So here what you will do is you will clearly highlight that, like what you are going to test, when you are going to test, and uh, what is the timeline, how you are going to test that application. All these things will be available with your test plan. Okay. Now when I say that when, when is nothing but resources, resources is nothing but who is going to test that application and then what is nothing but uh, what requirements you are going to test, what requirements you are going to test, what requirements you are going to test and then what requirements you are not going to test, that means out of scope, in scope and out of scope. And then, when is nothing but timeline? What is the timeline? When you are starting, when you are starting your uh, test cycle and when you are finishing your test cycle. So, you have to give the timelines. Timelines are the important. You have to give your timelines. And then, what you have to do is, you have to give the approach. What is your approach? How you are going to test that application? What is the different testing types you are using? Right, approach is nothing but how you are going to how you are going to test your application. What is your approach? What are all the different testing types you are using to test your application? That is nothing but your uh, test uh, plan. When I say the test plan, which includes who is going to test, what you are going to test, when you are going to test, how you are going to test. Apart from this, you are also having some assumptions. This is your basic test plan I am talking, like your regular test plan assumptions and risk, what is the risk, what is your mitigations, so what kind of risk you are expecting in your regular, in your uh, application, what, what is the mitigation for this, mitigation is nothing but how to overcome that, mitigation for it, and then what is your entry and exit criteria, like when you will uh, start your testing, when you will uh, stop your uh, testing, when you will start your testing, when you will uh, stop your testing, and then a defect criteria, all these things will be available with your regular test plan. So, once this, this is done, this is your regular test plan. Apart from this uh, regular test plan, you need to include these points. This is your uh, points like which operating systems you are going to test. You have to clearly mention that the operating systems which you are going to test here. Like I will say that 
I'm going to test in my Android and then iOS you have to clearly mention that uh, uh, operating systems which you are going to test versions see it is as I said earlier it is not possible to test with each and every version you are having so many versions how I can test that application with uh, each and every version it is not at all possible so you have to clearly mention which versions we are going to test we will say that Android 2.3, Android 4.0. We will clearly highlight that which versions we are going to test that application. And here also, right, when I say that the versions we are testing means this is, we are not taking this decision. We are not randomly picking these versions. What we will do is, here, we will be identifying these uh, versions based on the different criteria. Okay, fine, fine. So here, what we will do is, here uh, we will identify, we will identify that versions for our testing. For that, we will be identifying based on, so these are all the different criteria, how to identify your devices for the testing. Okay, I'll say like this. Please let me know if you have any doubts, okay. How to identify the devices for the testing. When I say that how to identify the devices for the testing, how you will identify? One is latest versions. Latest versions. That means right when you are doing your testing, always you can focus your testing with your latest version. So when you are taking this decision, what you can do is, you can also ask other team members, you can also ask your project manager, you can also ask your team lead, you can also ask your client and then come to one conclusion. Because with the given timelines, it is not possible to test with each and every version. See, if they are giving you like for two weeks of time or one month of time for your testing, it is not possible for me to test, or be, uh, test each and every version. It is impossible. It is not practical. So, what we will do is we will ask that uh, team and we will get that inputs from all the team members and then we will finalize which versions we are going to test based on the timelines. So latest versions, popular versions, because sometimes what will happen is, right, even though oh, my version is, uh, is a, like a lower version, but still it is a very popular version. Say for example, if you take Android, in the Android, uh, 2.3 is a very lower version, but 2.3 is a very popular version, gingerbread, Android 2.3 gingerbread is a very, very popular version, okay. So what we will do is we will always focus our testing with the popular versions also, okay. And then next thing is client feedback. So client will say that the I'm having my customers uh, only with Android uh, 6.0. So if client is saying that whatever that uh, version he is, he is expecting, we will use the same version for our testing. So you can take your client feedback also here. Okay. And then type of user. So when you are working with your uh, application, what kind of users using by your application. That means say for example here HPK Infosys like that we are developing HPK Infosys. So here what kind of uh, users we can expect here all the technical people only. Almost right now you can see all the technical people only using this HPK Infosys app. This kind of situation what you can do is you can go with your latest version because almost everyone will upgrade to latest version regularly. So you can focus your testing with your latest version. This is how you can identify the devices for your testing. So if anyone is asking in interview, how you will identify the devices for your testing, this is the answer. Okay. Fine. Then, then, then what we will do is, okay. Now, once my OS versions are identified, testing scope is already done. Testing scope is nothing but like uh, 
overall <coughs> testing scope is nothing but what are all the requirements you are testing, what are all the requirements you are not testing, that is nothing but your testing scope. We will be discussing about, the, we will be clearly mentioning, uh, mentioning in the test plan about your testing scope, what we are going to test, what we are not going to test, we will clearly highlight that. And then timelines is already highlighted like when you are starting your testing and when you are stopping your testing. And then in your test plan one important thing is you have to clearly mention that uh, devices are emulated. This is very important. Now you said that you are start you are planning to test your application with your Android 2.3 and 4.0, iOS 4.0 and 5.0. This kind of situation. That this kind of situation. Now are you using that real devices or emulator? That means here if you want to if you want to if you want to test your application with these devices. It is not possible to get each and every real device from the client. Now you are planning to test your application with your Android 4.2.3, 4.0, iOS 4.0, 5.0. So now you need that uh, real device for each and every version. 2.3 you require, 4.0 you require, iOS also you require. So this kind of situation, no client can provide all the real devices. The reason is, it is very expensive. It is very expensive and you cannot expect the real devices for each and every real day, each and every version. So when you are uh, testing your application and for each each version, you cannot expect your real device. Okay. Hello, can you?